But we're going to move on now to the wonderful Queen Elizabeth from Cunard. Oh. Um, five star luxury, and this is your chance of getting away. I, I think one of the most depressing months of the year, I hate November, I don't know about you, but I, I find November, when the clocks have changed, it's all dark and dreary, it's a time that you'd just love to get away and get some winter sun, and you're guaranteed winter sun with this one going over to the Canaries. Uh, now, Keith, you, uh, you worked, of course, for Cunard for many, many years, and here is Keith to tell you more. She's the third Cunard ship to bear her name, and bigger and more beautiful than any of her predecessors. The Queen Elizabeth was launched by Her Majesty the Queen in 2010, and continues to win thousands of fans for her understated elegance, spacious luxury, and excellent service. Serving over 20,000 meals each day, Queen Elizabeth's talented culinary team of over 100 chefs cater to all tastes and dietary requirements. Fresh and exquisitely seasoned dishes are served in all of the six dining locations. So whether it's a meal with friends in the Britannia or a freshly baked pizza in the Lido, your taste buds are going to enjoy the holiday as much as you do. Kickstart your day with some relaxing yoga in the gym, followed by a visit to the Royal Spa for a quick dip and a spot of pampering. There's literally hundreds of treatments to choose from. After a spot of afternoon tea, maybe you'll take a stroll around the Royal Arcade full of stylish souvenirs and big design names at low prices. Or you could pop up on deck for a game of croquet in the sunshine. There's seven different bars to choose from, all featuring live music. So whatever your mood or tipple, you're going to find the perfect home away from home. Cocktail fans will flock to the panoramic views of the Commodore Club. And for those who want to dance the night away, there's even the wonderful disco. But for me, it's all about quenching your thirst for a freshly pulled pint here in the legendary Golden Lion Pub. It may be night time that most sets the Queen Elizabeth experience apart from other ships. You can enjoy a magical night in the Royal Court Theatre, but comedians, stars of the West End, and fabulous shows can be viewed from the privacy of your own theatre box. Then why not turn back the time and attend a dazzling themed ball in the Queen's Room with a live band, gentlemen dance hosts, and stunning performances from the ball instructors. Whether you want a sumptuous suite or a room with a view, this ship offers it all. There are seven grades of accommodation to choose from, and all of it is spacious, bright and stylish, including these brand new single staterooms with massive windows and even bigger TVs. But whatever you choose, every stateroom is full of little touches designed to make you feel instantly at home. Your personal stew will keep everything clean and tidy, the CD Cunard and mattress will keep you sleeping like a baby, and the free 24-hour room service will keep you wishing you had more willpower. <laughs> oh, do you know, I, I, I was on board you now for my mum's 70th birthday and we had such a great time. Keith, we're getting tweets about how wonderful you looked in that bathroom as it happens. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, now, how can our viewers get a bathroom? Not your bathroom. Not my bathroom. bathroom. No, this would be a brand new one that's out, straight out of the packet. Um, so we've got f five wonderful uh, embossed Cunard uh, fluffy bathrobes for the first five people that put this deal tonight. Right. So get on the phone. It is not a used one. It's a completely fresh <laughs> one. Though if you want the, new, the one I use, then that's a little bit extra. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. I don't know what to say to that. So <laughs> no, I think I'm going to move on. Best to move on. What we have got um, on this particular cruise, as well as, the, as, as we mentioned, the first five years will get that complimentary bathrobe. The same as Keith uh, actually wore. We've also <laughs> given you some great onboard spend on this one as well. There's yes. loads of extras actually, which we're going to talk about in more detail. But you could get, depending on the state of your book, up to $860 onboard spend. On top of that, every booking can choose from either an extra $150 onboard spend on top of the money you've got already, or free car parking or free coach as well. So loads of extras on this that are included in that price. But it is a great chance of getting some winter sun, of course, as well. And this cruise, Keith, there's, uh, there's no flight. It's from Southampton, isn't it? It is, yeah. So no worries about your, about your luggage. No. no the worries, you know, we have to get in 20 or 30 kilograms to get on the flight. Take as many shoes or handbags as you want, Sean. Get on board and off we go. And the great thing about this, of course, is you've got a couple of days at sea to enjoy this beautiful ship. Remember, it's a five-star experience. I was the entertainment director on board Queen Elizabeth. She is a beautiful ship and she's brand spanking new again, only launching in 2010. Still sparkling. OK, your first port of call is going to be Lisbon and the sailing down the Tagus River itself you should make sure you're out on deck at least an hour and a half before you arrive because it's wonderful views it really really is and then as you and as you actually sail down then you're going to see the Bellum Tower the 15th century uh, fortification there uh, and you're also going to see the Monument of Discoverers two great things that you can take tram 15 out to go and see when you actually dock and it's the trams that are the best way to get around this is a city of trams of hills and of custard tarts and the custard tarts are the best and the trams shortly follow them and the trams themselves are some 
some of the best journeys you will do full stop on public transport anywhere. Tram 28 is my favourite one, but you can pick that up from St George's Castle, which gives you great views over the whole of the city and dates back to the 11th century. And then you can go down the barrier, up the barrier, uh, up the backs here, up the barrier auto, and you can see real traditional Portuguese life played out in front of you as you rattle over these cobblestones and hear traditional Fado echoing echoing in through the back streets. It's an incredible place. Okay, that is Lisbon. Then we're going to move on. A relaxing day at sea. To, before you get to Lanzarote, so we've gone back to the Canaries. We're now talking again about 355 days of sunshine in a year. Great chance to top up your town. Lanzarote known for its lunar landscape. You've got the 16th century Fortress of Hunger, which is a great visit. It's got a great museum and a great restaurant. Great views over the whole of the island. Uh, and you've also got from Lanzarote a chance to go out to the Mountains of Fire. Huge solidified areas um, are, are of these huge, enormous dormant volcanoes and you can do camel rides as you're seeing there uh, through them and, and trying to trek through it's amazing landscape it's why a lot of films uh, such as Planet of the Apes were filmed here okay you can also go and see Cesar Manrique, Manrique's house famous uh, designer who, who came from Lanzarote and it's a bit Austin Powers a bit kind of oh um, it's built out of these <laughs> lava bubbles it's incredible five <laughs> lava bubbles and he's built a house out of it really it sounds amazing it really is yeah. it really is okay then we go to Gran Canaria another wonderful island in the Canaries and this time we're talking about golden dunes of sand drenched in this year-round sunshine. You've got the Bandama Crater, the largest inhabited crater in the world. People live in it. There's little shops and all sorts and it's a huge crater for you to go and enjoy. Definitely do that. You've got the Christopher Columbus Museum which is well worth a look if you like your history, particularly your maritime history. The Arucas Mountains. You can actually journey through to Arucas and see this beautiful little capital. Uh, it's called the banana capital uh, of the island and that's because the Arucas Mountains are full of these banana plantations and you can do it on a quad bike. I recommend it. Um, Great thing to do as well, as I mentioned, always when you're in the Canaries, is head out and do the boat trips and enjoy the dolphins and the whales that migrate through this area all year round. Then you've got a chance to go to Madeira. I've already talked about Madeira. I can't say enough about Madeira. Get in touch if you want individual advice, but it's the hanging basket of the Atlantic, and that means it's a flower-filled, beautiful island for you to enjoy. And then a relaxing date sea before we head back to La Coruña. Now, this is great. This offers you incredible seaside vistas. Um, it's actually got a 10-mile walkway around the outside called the Passamo Maritime which you can walk around and it's got quite a funky art like a big giant uh, multicolored octopus that you can enjoy. It's the birthplace of Zara so if you like to shop you can go to some great Zara and get some real bargains here. Um, it's also got this wonderful lighthouse that you're seeing here, the Tower of Hercules. It's over 2,000 years old. It's the, it's the oldest operational lighthouse in the world. It dates back to Roman times and it's well worth a look. And beyond that you've got the Pedro Mount called the Pedro Elevator. Um, and the Pedro Elevator is this glass sphere that goes up and down the Pedro Mount. That's it there. Uh, it gives you great views on the coastline. It's an amazing place, it really, really is, and I've not even talked about the fact that you can go out to Santiago de Compostela and do a pilgrimage, or just see the beautiful ancient pilgrimage of the past. And then a final day at sea, Keith, isn't it? It is. Great chance to remember all the foods included. The entertainment with Cunard is first rate. You know, you're going to see comedians, you're going to have full on singing, dancing shows, you've got great guest speakers, you know, you've got a, a oh, dance the classes. The afternoon tea. The afternoon tea, yeah. the white glove service afternoon yeah. tea, when they parade in with the cucumber sandwiches and the scones. Oh, with all, all, the, uh, there was all the live band at the dance. As well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because yeah, the thing about Cunard is the number of live musicians. They have more live musicians than the other cruise line. So you have two full orchestras. So everything's done to live music, and that's just so rare in this day and age. It really is. It it's magical. It re I mean, say, I, I, I chose Cunard for my mum's seventieth birthday, and I couldn't have picked a better cruise line. Your chance of booking this today, only deposit needed for nine hundred and forty-nine pounds. Um, and I say, what a great time to get away in November. Get that fabulous wind sun. Now there are loads of extra. All the cruise companies at this time of year they put, put forth their best deal so just to remind you of everything that is included right now so depending on which stateroom up to this is a lot of money by the way it's huge up to 860 dollars per person on board spend per stateroom wow that's a huge amount Keith, isn't it's, it? it's a massive amount there it really is so get in touch and speak to our customer yeah. service operators and they'll they'll tell you the specific amount for the stateroom that you choose now on top of that you can choose from an extra either $100 $90 on board spend or free car parking or free coach as well. Now this is uh, to celebrate 175 years, isn't it? It's Not 175 yeah. years next year. Yeah, it's incredible. So there's loads of birthday celebrations, lots of birthday cruises that you can also look on the site if you want to do those. But this is a real bargain. And, and don't forget that luxury bathroom, which was modelled by our Keith Maynard. Uh, free one of those for the first five bookings on the night. Quick um, reminder, by the way, if you'd like to spend. Uh, 
your night before the cruise in the Mian Valley Marriott in Southampton. We can arrange that for you and you'd get free parking there and free uh, transfers, of course. So then you could take your uh, onboard spend instead. So that's a little uh, option for you. Now, don't forget, we also have a show on Friday with Keith at 11 o'clock in the morning. That's right, 11 o'clock, um, and this will be the first show of 2015. Oh, it will, won't and it? So there'll yeah. be some absolutely brand spanking great deals as well for you to enjoy. Um, so it's going to be a great show. Yeah, so that will be this Friday. And if you'd like to stay in touch with us, various ways you can do that. You can either sign up to our newsletter, you can get your free copy of our Journey brochure, or you can check out our brand new website. And the website is brilliant, honestly. It's uh, so user-friendly and will show you everything that is currently available. Don't forget, I know we are so busy tonight. It is a free phone number as well. So if you've got any calls, any queries, all of our cruise consultants are there with loads of experience to talk you through and find the best deal for you. So it's a free phone number, don't forget. On 0800 840 1088, we're open till 10.30 tonight. Tomorrow we are only open from 8 until 1, of course, with it being New Year's Eve. Or, of course, you can go onto our website as well. Uh, Keith, I know you've got a few hellos to say. Yeah, I you? do. These are people who got in touch via Twitter and Facebook as well. So a big hello to Kate uh, and also to Sonia Davidson. Uh, you know, Happy New Year to all of you. Uh, Mark Cameron as well, good, good friends of the show here. Bernadette Brownlee, hello to you. Claire, great to see you. Uh, you've got Jackie Mack, hello to you. Uh, Bradford Mouse, I don't know your real name, Bradford Mouse. I just know you're Bradford Mouse, your Twitter <laughs> handle, I like it. Uh, and also to Ken Walls, uh, happy New Year to all of you guys. Thanks for getting in touch. Remember, it's at Planet Cruise uh, or at Beefy Keefy to get in touch with us via Twitter. And also a big hello to Cole Fee, Wes, Astrid, Ross and Molly uh, up there in Scotland. Beefy Keefy. Beefy Keefy. Is that, yeah, he's actually looking in good shape, isn't he? I'm oh, just, yeah. no, it's, it's a surprise. Well, it's I just after Christmas. After Christmas. Was, yeah. yeah. But, Do you know, I did my, I did my, I was doing my yoga every day oh. during Christmas. And I, I was a really good boy. Do you know, was, when I first met him, he was a bit on the chubby side. Now <laughs> look at you. Anyway. <laughs> it's true. It's true. He looks great. It's it looks a, better, <laughs> so he does. <laughs>